special program where we bring you the news that United have made their third signing of the summer. Nemanja Matic has joined the club from Chelsea. Here's United's official statement. Manchester United are delighted to announce the signing of Nemanja Matic from Chelsea on a three-year contract with an option to extend for a further year. The 28-year-old Serbian international midfielder has won a number of club and individual honours, including league titles in both England and Portugal. Well, Jose Mourinho said, Nemanja is a Manchester United player and a Jose Mourinho player. He represents everything we want in a footballer, loyalty, consistency, ambition and team player. I'd like to thank him for his desire to join us, because without that, it would be impossible to have him here. I'm sure our players and supporters will love him. A big welcome to our new number 31. Well, as you'd expect, Matic's first interview as a Manchester United player was with MUTV. I spoke to him a little earlier. Well, Nemanja, first of all, um, welcome to Manchester United. How do you feel about becoming a Manchester United player? I feel great. Uh, Manchester is uh, one of the biggest clubs in the world, and, uh, and I'm very happy because I, I'm now part of, the, of this great club, part of this great group and I'm looking forward to start to train with the team and to start to play the games. You're leaving a team that, that won the Premier League, so what is it about Manchester United that made you want to sign for this club? As you know, Manchester is one of the, as I said, Manchester is one of the biggest clubs in the world. Also, I, I, my wish is, was to, to train with, with uh, Jose and uh, and of course, when you have a coach like him and a club like Manchester, is uh, you don't need you don't need to think a lot. So my decision was was very easy. You mentioned Jose Mourinho there. How much are you looking forward to working with him again? Yeah, uh, I'm very happy because we will we will work again together. He is a great coach, and uh, when I work with him before, he always take the best from me and. Uh, and I improved a lot with him, so I'm very happy to, 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 be, to be again uh, with him, especially in this great club, so I'm, I'm happy because of that. I mean, this is the second time that he signed you. It must give you great confidence to know that he obviously rates you very highly. Of course, of course, when, uh, when uh, the coach wants you to, to come to the club, this give you, gives you more motivation, more... Um, more possibility and I will I will try to not try I will for sure give my best to to show that I deserve to be this in this club and part of this group and how pleased have you to have completed this move before the season starts so you have a chance to get to know teammates and to, to really settle in at, at United yeah, it's very important to to come to come uh, to new clubs soon as possible uh, to have time to to adapt on uh, on the on the coaches uh, coaches wishes to adapt on new teammates and uh, and uh, I'm happy that I I will have some days to train with them before the before the first first big game which is uh, against Real Madrid so uh, I'm sure that uh, this season uh, all together we can we can do big big things. You've been training at Chelsea, but you haven't been playing in the in the matches. So how are you in terms of your sort of fitness and match fitness as we go into the new season? Yeah, uh, uh, as you know, probably I, I, I didn't train with the team. Uh, I train uh, alone and uh, with uh, with fitness coach. And of course, it's not the same uh, when you train alone and when you are with the team, but but uh, I have enough time before the season starts to, to prepare myself. and. Uh, of course, that I'm not 100% ready, but I will be very soon. Uh, two other new signings as well, Romelu Lukaku, um, Victor Lindelof, who, like you, played for Benfica. I guess you know Romelu from, from Chelsea. Do you know those guys? Yeah, I know, I know them. Uh, with Victor, I have been in, uh, together in, uh, in Benfica, Lisbon. Uh, Lukaku, uh, I, I didn't play with him because in, when I left Chelsea, he he just signed there, and uh, I didn't have opportunity to train and to play with him. 
but I know him because we, we play many times against each other and they are both of them they are great players I think that they're going to help Manchester to reach the, the targets you know what it takes to win the Premier League you've won it twice um, with Chelsea in the last three seasons do you feel that this squad is ready to challenge for the title I think so uh, I think that uh, this squad is uh, is ready because it's more mature and uh, they already worked with Jose one year so they they know what they have to do and I'm sure that this season uh, we can do we can do many things and we obviously know you as a player from the Premier League but how would you describe yourself as a player your best qualities as a midfield player it's difficult to to say uh, something because uh, uh, I will let supporters to talk about me but uh, what I said before uh, I always give my best uh, I always try to do even more than I can on the pitch and uh, about my qualities I will let supporters to talk about that but your particular role as the midfielder the defensive midfielder has become a very important role in modern football isn't it yeah, of course, the, on that position, the player needs to give balance to the team, needs to control the game, and uh, I exactly what I tried trying to do, and uh, and I cannot say that, that that position is more important than than any other position, but uh, but when you per play in central of the, of the pitch, you have to to know every time where where is the. The ball, when you have the ball and uh, when you attack also you have to know uh, how to stop to stop the opponents to, to make a counter-attack because uh, on that position, as I said, you have to give balance always. Your namesake, your fellow countryman Nemanja Vidic was you know, a legend here. Um, is he someone that you sort of used to look up to? Vidic is, as you know, was a great player. Uh, was uh, one of the, of the players who I look uh, to be to be similar because he has a great career. When I when I came first time to Serbian national team, he was uh, one of the captains. He was the leader of of our national team. So it's great it's great to be in the same club like uh, like him. And I will try to do my best. Uh, to repeat what he does, I, I know that he's going to be very hard, but uh, I will try to do the best because I don't want I don't want that uh, that one day he tell me what are you doing there. <laughs> so I will try to do my best well, United, for him to be happy. United fans still sing a song about him. Are you hoping that they sing a song about you as well? Uh, yeah, they can <laughs> they can sing the same one. <laughs> Now, of course, you face United at Old Trafford, um, but how do you think it will feel to run out there with a red shirt on with 70,000 people supporting you? It's going to be something special because uh, to play on Old Trafford with, uh, with Manchester shirt, I think it's something special. I didn't have that opportunity yet, but uh, for sure it's going, to be, it's going to be great. And uh, yeah, I, I'm looking forward to, to that. What do you hope you can achieve as a United player both as an individual and also as a member of uh, the team? As a member of the team, I think that we can do many things. Uh, I'm sure that, that uh, we will try to win uh, the Premier League, also Champions League. You never know what can happen in Champions League. Everything is possible, many good teams, uh, the best teams in, uh, in Europe. So Manchester is one of the, of the best for sure. And, uh, uh, it's very very difficult to make the plan before the season start, but we will we will try to to win every game if it's possible. You mentioned the Champions League. We're very excited to be back in the Champions League. Um, and how excited are you to be featuring in the Champions League with United this season? Yeah, uh, as you know, I miss last year also Champions League. I didn't play, so uh, this competition is something special. Uh, they are the best clubs in uh, in Europe. And uh, it's always special when you when you play that, and uh, yeah, we are all happy that that uh, we can play we can play Champions League and to comp uh, to compare with the uh, with the best team in the uh, teams in Europe. And do you think you'll settle in quickly? Do you know any of the players here? I mean, do you think that who will help you settle in? Yeah, I, I know a couple of players, and 
of course, especially Mata because he he played with me and uh, and uh, I already saw him this this morning. So, but most of the guys, of course, I played against them and uh, and I think that uh, adaptation is going to be quick. Hopefully, we'll get to play in the Super Cup against Real Madrid in just a, a week or two. How excited you to be involved in that? What a way to start the season! Yeah, of course, it's, uh, it's going to be a great game. Uh, Manchester United, Real Madrid, two big clubs in the Super Cup, so it's going to be it's going to be interesting uh, game for uh, I think all world is going to watch that. So I'm very happy that we already can uh, compare our qualities with them. So they are, as you know, they are Champions League winner and winners, and uh, it's going to be it's going to be hard game, but I'm sure that we will be ready. Finally, do you have a, a message for the sort of millions of Manchester United fans around the world who might be watching this interview or reading this interview? Do you have a message for those fans? Of course, so that uh, message is one that we will give our best to make them happy and to win uh, to win the league this season. And uh, and yeah, that's it. Our best, and uh, we will give more than hundred percent.